بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome back to Ramadan TV and welcome you to Deen at Dawn May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the understanding and make us among those who learn and teach and practice Allahumma ameen ya rabbal alameen In focus today Darul Aman or Baytul Aman and Baytul Aman is a, an organization, Islamic organization, basically serving the old age people, supporting them, helping them, helping the frail people. And they do this for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They're in existence for so many years. And uh, we'll get to know them better, inshallah, uh, with us in the program, the chairman of Baytul Aman, Brother Faldi JB. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, good to be with you once again. And it's so important uh, in the month of Ramadan to shed light on uh, Baytul Aman and uh, invite the people to help and support Baytul Aman as well. Uh, in the beginning, uh, maybe just to remind our viewers, what is Baytul Aman when it was, uh, when it was established? Alhamdulillah. The name Baytul Aman, as you well know, is the home of peace. So uh, the organization was started in 1965 by a group of people in the Weinberg area who saw the need to establish an institution which was called the Bureau for Muslim Family Care. They established this under adverse conditions because there were many Muslims in non-Muslims uh, non-Muslim institutions. Mm. So Alhamdulillah, they managed to build the Baytul Aman, the, 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 the structure. And the first resident entered Baytul Aman in 1978. That's a long time ago. Which is 44 years ago. MashaAllah. Which they took out from a non-Muslim institution. And since that time, up till today, we have served over a thousand Allah. of our aged in that institution, alhamdulillah. MashaAllah. You told me that before that there was no organization like that. And so uh, the first person, he was a Muslim person who was placed in a, in a non-Muslim uh, house. Uh, and then he was taken out of that in order to come to the Muslim, to, the, to Baytul Aman. Baytul Aman. And, and this obviously saved his, his deen. Allah. Mm -hmm. Hence the reason that today, if we look at um, what has happened since, it was an old age home. The dynamic has changed. Today, it's a frail care center. So there are people more, more frail. In, more, more in need. Yeah, yeah, more in need. Hence the reason that the complement of the staff is bigger than it was before. Mm -hmm. And these are obviously challenges. Yes, of course. But alhamdulillah, we're managing through them. Allah. Allah. I, I went and I saw the place. I was so happy to see the place. That's, that's my witness. Uh, MashaAllah, you see there, it is basically the service is like five star. And there are so many staff, very kindly staff, who, who support the people and help them and support them. Uh, there are doctors, there's uh, people who support uh, in education, etc. And maybe uh, you can shed light on that as well about the number of the staff and how and the service that's giving to the people at Baytul Aman. Yes, so we have a capacity for 70 people. Of course, with the COVID, the numbers was down. Mm -hmm. We were in during COVID period is one of our difficult periods that we have experienced because we were down to 33. We couldn't take in new uh, residents mm -hmm. because of the COVID. Because of COVID, yeah. That has impacted financially on the institution because the staff complement of 52 people that works there, that remain. So, you know, it impacted on the financial situation of the institution. Mm -hmm. Alhamdulillah, it's picked up very nicely now again. We could take in more people. Seeing that the COVID, I hope it is totally gone now. Inshallah, inshallah. And uh, may Allah make it easy. I mean, yeah. We have uh, managed to be very strict, in fact, during COVID period. Uh, the first uh, wave, it was, uh, in fact, we managed it well. But Allah knows best, in the second wave, we had quite a few losses inside. So there again, we had to give off rooms to make it into isolation rooms. Mm. So we couldn't take in more residents, you see, mm. so that we could contain some of the residents that had COVID. But Alhamdulillah, today, 
we managed through last year's uh, pledge line to at least see the home through this year. Alhamdulillah. 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 And I'm sure, inshallah, the situation this year will be better. And speaking about the pledge line, uh, when are you intending, inshallah, to have this pledge? And, and for, for what exactly it will be? Inshallah, uh, this Friday evening, the 22nd, inshallah. at 9.30, we will be on Yilal TV, inshallah. We urge the community, Ramadan TV, Ramadan yeah. TV yes. to support us, which they've done in the past, and we know, because our needs are always there. There are so many needs that we have. For instance, we still have the shortfall on the residents. Hence the reason that we're saying to the community that they could support a resident. They can adopt a resident. And that is only the shortfall of two and a half thousand uh, uh, per month. Per month. So yeah. we're, talking, we're talking about, uh, about 30,000? No. Uh, uh, per year? Per, per, per annum, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're talking about 30, 30 odd thousand per annum. However, uh, there are other needs in the institution. For instance, after 44 years, we couldn't do much maintenance to the institution. So that there's that project because we need to keep the place in good shape. We had to do comply with the health and safety yes. uh, issues also. And that took a lot of money. So Alhamdulillah, we are compliant. But of course, the building is de deteriorating after 44 years, so we must keep our hand on them. There's of course the new expansion plans that we do have because there's, there's a great need. We have an aging community as it is, mm. and we've got to look at this for what are we going to do in the next three to five years. Mm -hmm. I believe there was some kind of land that you, you would like to yes, we purchase have, as well. We have, we've actually changed course because of the needs we found out the land that we had next door, acquired next to the institution, it's not big enough for what we need to do. Mm. Because we need to make the institution self-sustainable. In order to do this, we have got to put up independent living and assisted living units mm -hmm. to, to, to assist the institution and of course to increase the capacity of the of the frail kid. Yes. So we we, 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 we've uh, actually charted our course to get a bigger piece of land so that we can do all this. And this is the three to five year plan that we intend doing because we've got to look at the future of this organization. MashaAllah. And I'm sure our audience uh, in this pledge, and yani, inshallah, they will uh, support Baytul Aman as usual. And uh, some people, uh, sometimes they, they like to pledge uh, or to give, uh, uh, beside the donations, they like to give foods, etc. Are you also taking that? Oh yes, alhamdulillah. Like I've said before, we've got a fantastic community. They love giving food. And uh, we thank them for this. And it's, it's an ongoing thing. You know, with COVID, a lot of things have stopped at the institution. Mm. Before, people used to come and celebrate yeah, days and yes. the functions at the institution, give them a breakfast, then it again relieves Baitul Aman from giving the breakfast, that he would come all the supper and they would have eaten trees and uh, ten things like that. That has come to an end. So inshallah we hope in the future that uh, you know people will be able to move more freely. We have now opened to the public but obviously via our office uh, we mm. can't just let people in anymore, so it's uh, supervised visitations mm -hmm. that we have in there, alhamdulillah. That alhamdulillah. That is, is there any specific material or any specific uh, foods or donations or uh, things that people need? Yeah, uh, we have a wish list for instance, the office, they normally will have this wish list mm. where we need adult nappies. That is something that we use a lot of. And there's other things also. So what we tell the public is, please do phone Baitul Aman to coordinate to, mm. to find out what our need is because it differs from month to month. You see. Mm -hmm. So Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah. And our community is very generous community. They always support Baitul Aman. MashaAllah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept. And, and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us that لَيْسَ مِنَّا مَنْ لَمْ يُوَقِّرْ كَبِيرَنَا is not part of this ummah. 
uh, that person who does not show respect to the elderly people. And part of showing respect to the elderly people is that we need to uh, support them and, uh, and, and, and help in, in this way. MashaAllah. Uh, now, speaking about the, or, or to uh, maybe remind our viewers about the current need and the current difficulties that, that you need people to call in to support exactly during the pledge. Inshallah, yes, we, we, we want, we urging the community to call in because we take uh, zakah, we take sadaqah, we take fidya, we take fitra. In fact, it's all on the posters. And of course, like I said, we need about three, three and a half million rand to, to maintain the building of, mm -hmm. uh, of Baitullah Mahal. We've got to upgrade the, the, the ablution facilities, for instance, mm -hmm. badly needed. There's flooring that needs to be done. Mm -hmm. There's the roof that needs to be seen to. There's painting that needs to be done. Uh, I know there's, there is uh, people out there that could assist us in that. There are others that would say no, they would rather give food. We don't have a problem. We say Jazakallah to the community, but we ask them uh, to please think about us when they dispense of their zakat and their sadaqat, because that is how we sustain the people mm -hmm. that's living. And we would like them to adopt residents at short form. Mm -hmm. so, so people can adopt a residence for... Yeah, for uh, two and a half thousand, which is only the short form, mm -hmm. because it costs about eight and a half thousand to house one residence. Mm -hmm. the, short, the shortfall in general, the total amount is how much? The total amount per annum is about two and a half million. Mm -hmm. That's the shortfall. Two and a half million. Because of the type of care that we need to provide. Nice, so Some people Allah. think, now why do we have 52 people and we only have 60 odd Resident, if it's a frail care, you need two people and you need to give an excellent service because you know it's difficult when you reach old age yes. and frail when you can't help yourself. The same thing with the beds. Last year, Alhamdulillah, people came and they pledged the electric beds. We still short of, of 10 beds to the tune of 350,000. So, this the need is there and mashallah, this. Uh, Ramadan, there's only barakah for you. For the public out there, this is where you spend your money. And you will see. Allah will make it easy for all of us, inshallah. Inshallah, inshallah. What time is the pledge once again to remind us? It's uh, 9.30, inshallah, on Friday evening. Inshallah. We urge the, the viewers to call in. The phones must keep on ringing. Inshallah. We'll have 10 people in the studio, inshallah. inshallah. All of you are invited to join uh, Baytul Aman Pledge, inshallah, this Friday at half past nine uh, p.m., where you will support uh, the frail people and the old age people. And uh, also, those people are mustahaqeen. They are in need of your zakawat, in need of your sadaqat. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala encourages us in the Noble Quran in so many places to give and to spend in the path of Allah Azza wa Jal. Uh, a final uh, message from you, uh, Brother Faldi, uh, to our viewers uh, and as a mean of encouragement to them, inshallah, to call in. Alhamdulillah, thumma alhamdulillah, we say jazakallah to our viewers for the ongoing support. And unfortunately, this year has been very difficult for me to go outside of Cape Town because I normally visit people up mm -hmm. north and even as far as Botswana. Mashallah. But we give, give them heartfelt greetings and they should remember us on Friday night and they should phone in, inshallah. Inshallah. Please. Inshallah. Hey, you heard it from uh, Brother Faldi, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept their efforts, as I said. I visited the place, beautiful. Uh, they look after the, uh, the, the, the elderly people, they support them. And, and, and mashallah, you see the atmosphere is so beautiful, happy atmosphere. And the people, they are so happy as well, enjoying this uh, good care. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from Baytul Aman and all the people who are donating and will donate inshallah on Friday. So join them this Friday at half past 9 p.m. inshallah, where you can support Pay to Aman and you can donate for that good cause. Jazakallah khairan and kalfaldi for joining us uh, this morning. Taqabbal Allah minna minkum, Allah ma'ameen. All right, with that, we came to uh, the end of the segment of our program for today. We're going to be taking a short break. We'll come back after the break, inshallah.